you guys, it's me, Sean Strong, and I'm so excited to be here at Fox Hall, where today I'm gonna to be working on a planter for you guys. I'm gonna be using some incredible product, again, courtesy of Mayesh. I cannot wait to show you guys what I'm gonna be doing. I got a word of affirmation, and now I'm like, okay, I can do this. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to create some <laughs> All right, you guys, so first things first, we need to make sure that we have our materials. We're gonna be using chicken wire, we're gonna be using floral tape, and also our snips to make sure that this is gonna happen properly. Now, thank you so very much, Accent Decor, for this incredible planter. What we're gonna be doing is lining this with chicken wire, taping it off, and then adding this beautiful product in there. All right, so it's very important when you're doing something this large to make sure that you guys have a firm foundation. Otherwise, things start shifting all over the place, and that's the last thing we want for our clients. So what we're gonna be using today is chicken wire, and I love chicken wire because it allows a little bit of mobility, but it's still very, very secure. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and chop off a piece that's probably gonna be a little bit longer than the vessel that we have, and then we're gonna tuck it under, and I'll show you guys how we're gonna do that. I wanna make sure every time we use our chicken wire, we wanna make sure it's super secure in the vessel. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and tie off these four corners over here. And we're just using opposite ends of the chicken wire. So it creates this cannoli-like shape. From there, we're gonna tuck in these other corners to the center. And we're gonna create this like pillow shape. That way it's gonna be very secure for our flowers. I like doing it this way because I like to make sure that when our flowers are going in the chicken wire, they're going in through multiple holes. If they just go through that one, they're going to fall over. But if they go through two of them, it's going to create a little bit more security for us. So now that we have our chicken wire secure inside of our vessel, I want to make sure that we tape it off. Again, extra security, making sure that we have a good foundation because we don't want things to shift and move around. So we wanna make sure that we're having an asymmetrical design. That's kind of typical of how I like to make things work. It's just a little softer in the eye to watch a beautiful line follow as opposed to something that's kind of all over the place. So what I wanna do is create a high point over here and I'm gonna have everything kind of cascade down over this direction. So we're gonna have some higher pieces over this direction and then we'll have our lower, smaller pieces. So what we're gonna do is also add in some beautiful textures like these rocks and this stick. We really wanna make this as natural as possible. So I think it's really important to add elements that you would find in nature, not just flowers, not just leaves. Make sure you're adding in different textures in there to create some interest for your piece. Because the centerpiece is only gonna be one directional, meaning it's only gonna be seen one direction, we wanna make sure that we're designing kind of looking at the piece, kind of like how I have right here. I'm designing this way, but eventually I'll turn it around so you guys are able to see what we're doing. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in these rocks. I wanna make sure that I have these like really solid pieces already kind of placed where they need to be. That way I'm able to design around them. The last thing I wanna do is try to force a rock to like ruin my flower situation. I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and place these in first and I'm gonna start designing around those as well. All right, so you guys can already see how we have this higher point happening over here, lots of texture over here. And we're gonna start adding in some more of these beautiful flowers to make sure that we're creating this really cool piece for you guys. I like placing flowers in groups like this. Whenever you're putting flowers together in their own little family, it looks a little bit more natural than if they were kind of like, you know, poking at it throughout the arrangement. So you can see we already have some really cool texture taking place. We have a lot of height happening, we have some cool texture, and then we have some really cool geometric places down over here. So I think it's important to make sure that you're kind of conceptualizing what you're doing before you start going into this. Again, I started out knowing I wanted a higher point over here, and I want to make sure I cascade down to a lower point. Now, I really love these flowers. These are really cool. These are called heliconia or lobster claws. And they just kind of create this really cool shape. They're just gonna kind of cascade on the side, again, to create a little bit more height and make sure that we have lots of moments of interest. So I wanna go ahead and add a couple of these in. I don't want there just to be one of these flowers in here. I wanna make sure that there's gonna be a little bit more intentionality behind it. So we're gonna add a couple of these in to make sure that they look purposeful and they're supposed to be there. All right, so in order to create some angularity within the arrangement, we want to create a little bit more depth. So we're looking to have things kind of come out at you, kind of go up, kind of go to the left, kind of go to the right. So we want to create a little bit more depth, and the way we do that is kind of having things go forward. Not everything needs to be this direction. Things grow like this, and like this, and like this. So they're not necessarily always just going to be up like this. All right, so you can see that our higher point is really full already. So what we're gonna start doing is making sure we're adding in some color with those pin cushion partea down there. Start adding these in over this direction to kind of create a little bit more of a beautiful line for your eye to follow. So we wanna create like a little moment down here of negative space. We wanna make sure that things kind of look natural. So in order to do that, you know, things aren't gonna be all the same height. So what we're gonna do is have some negative space over here and then kind of cascade down this direction. We already have these structures down here with our rock. So what we're gonna do is add in our pin cushion protea down there and it's going to add a little bit more color in life down here. I think it's really important for you to kind of work within the season that you're working within. Luckily, tropicals are pretty much available all year long, so it's nice to kind of add in these really cool textures. These pen cushion protea are one of my favorites because they have lots of color variation in them, and they're wonderful to kind of add little moments of interest in there. Yeah. 
So you can already see the shape that's taking place with the arrangement. Now what I want to start doing is adding small textural flowers. It's really nice to add these kind of in groups as well, making sure they're kind of in their family. It also adds a different element in there. It makes your client and your guests kind of have to kind of peer through the arrangement and kind of see what's going on in there. So I like adding lots of moments of interest, lots of texture in there to make sure everything is very purposeful and intentional for your guests. All right, you guys, so this is our final product. Now, I think this is gonna be an amazing piece to have at like a rehearsal dinner or something, something on either side of the doors, kind of framing it, creating a beautiful entrance for your guests. Now, I'm so grateful to be able to work with Accent Decor with this beautiful vessel, and of course, May Ash, the insane product that we got to work with today. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to direct message me on Instagram. I would love to be able to see how you guys interpret this. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. I'm not gonna let you go.